So, what the media wants? The media wants you to... Don't stop in them. In them. And they believe that this... Don't buy it. Don't buy it at all. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Today I was taking a walk. Well, that was like today, not today. That was like two hours ago, approximately. And as I was coming back from the from that walk, I was thinking like, why why there are not so many people uh, successful like uh, in a terms of being free being themselves, loving what they do, enjoying in what they're doing, like it's something that they're good at, that they love and they're getting paid well and everything like all together, all like aspects are there. Why there are not so many fulfilled people uh, in this kind of way? And I was wondering like why is that like that? And this is connected to like uh, what is going on right now and what was going on for years already back and that is actually like I was thinking like why is this like that? why there are not so many happy people out there? and the reason is because uh, our societies our societies are designed uh, you to don't have a meaning and I was thinking why is that like that? and you can check it out for yourself like you can if you know a bit more like how things are working and just think about it like, hmm, why is that like that? You will get to the same point like that this, like our societies, like I think most of them are designed for you to don't have a meaning. And I was thinking like the reason why is that like that? And the reason is because uh, if, if they don't have the meaning, like the, I'm talking about the people who are uh, in power and who are making these uh, trips and so on, control trips, um, like if they don't have a meaning, I mean, if you have a meaning that they don't lose, they then they lose the meaning. So that's the whole reason, like why why there are not so many happy people, and why it's so hard to to get out and to set yourself free, and that's because of that because our societies are not designed you to become free and to be yourself to to become authentic version of yourself. As this channel is about authenticity, about you becoming actually like going backwards like who you really are becoming who you really are and setting yourself free so this channel is about the freedom and our societies are designed not designed you to have the freedom and the reason i just told you is because if if they if you have a meaning if you get your meaning in this society then they lose the meaning so it's a struggle it's a power struggle it's a spiritual warfare you know if you have the power, then they lose the power, you know, so it's really a game. So, if you are a parent or if you are uh, someone who is um, awakened and who is seeing things a bit differently from a different angle, uh, if you are someone who is not having these uh, filters in the front of your eyes that are designed to blindfold you from the truth, um, I want to say to you something that I see happening uh, for a while and that is uh, basically what I said like uh, now it's uh, on steroids what I just said like a few seconds ago like uh, taking out the meaning of you taking out the freedom of you uh, the power struggle the spiritual warfare so if you have a meaning if you have a meaning they, then they lose the meaning so what I want to say here is that your children, your children are gonna, uh, are gonna grow up, small kids, and I already see it, uh, they're gonna grow up in uh, loving servitude, uh, loving obeying the rules. And this just reminded me, like, you can check out, like, everything that I'm talking about, by the way, you're gonna find it in the description. Um, so, for this one, you, you can see the uh, the movie, it's called Demolition Man. Demolition Man, I think it's a 1993. So if you're someone who is watching right now here and like thinking like what can I do and or like if you're awakened already or if you're a parent right now um, and having kids, 
or someone who wants like to to do something good right now uh, the time has come to to speak up to speak up the truth if you're someone who is not uh, uh, blindfolded by the what's going on if you're not having like if you're like uh, third eye is open and if you don't have these filters that are blind blindfolding you from the truth you can see what is going on and what I want to say here like especially for the children right now these children that are growing up right now and I'm talking about the kindergarten I'm talking about the school the primary schools they those children are gonna begin to to love the servitude to obey the rules and why is that uh, and I see it already happening this the reason is simple uh, the reason is because they get rewarded by the if they follow the rules so they get rewarded for following the rules and if they don't follow, follow the rules they they don't get rewarded they get uh, they punished they get punished so in some way and so what they learn is like oh my god if i want really to be a good kid if i want to survive in this society in this school in this kindergarten i have to obey the rules and that's how they learn and so what is happening here they literally then uh, give up they literally give up on their uh, meaning, on their uniqueness, on their authenticity. And that's what I see it's already going on. And that's that's a bit scary, you know, because they're going to quit on themselves. They're going to be in such a denial about like who they are, what they are and what they what they came here to do that they're going to forgive about themselves totally. And they're going to think like this is this is what I love, you know, obeying and just following the rules. And this is, this creates the, the society of bots. If ever, like I used to play the Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike uh, 1.6, um, unfortunately, yeah, I was, yeah, <laughs> I was lost. Uh, so I, I was, I used to play that, like, if you know the bots, like in Counter-Strike, in, in that game, computer game, you will know what I'm talking about. So what they're gonna learn in this is, as I already like uh, posted on, on, on my Instagram account, like they're gonna learn literally that uh, good, like good thing, good things are bad, and bad things are good. Don't buy it, really. Don't buy it. So you, you in that movie you can see like uh, that was like what was that? almost 20 years ago, like 17 years ago, 18 years ago, uh, when the movie was made. But like literally you can see in that movie like what is already happening in some parts of the world and what is coming in uh, other parts of the world. I, I love kids. I, I think they're amazing. Like kids are so free and so like... Uh, yeah, just so free. They're not having their their brain is not brainwashed still, and they're like kind of uh, free of the all this uh, heaviness that uh, the uh, uh, average adult is having uh, in in their heads. Uh, and something that really uh, hurt me, and that was a few days ago. I usually don't take a bus, but I was taking a bus this time, and I was having this. I have a. Uh, one like piece of clothes basically to put, put like uh, above your head and it's here to warm up your neck and it's kind of like a bigger thing and so you can stretch it up and basically you can put it like all over the like till the nose or you can put it all over the head and then just have the the, the eyes open it's more mostly for the skiing made and so i was sitting in a bus and at uh, at the one station they were uh, parents, the, the whole family, like members, like four or five of them, and they were just entering the bus at, at the station. And some of them, like uh, some of the family members, uh, sat uh, behind me. And in front of me, like uh, two seats or something like that, there was a kid with a mother sitting, and they were uh, turned to me. Uh, so we are face to face, like uh, maybe one meter, two meter distance, like two meters, something doesn't matter. But the point is, uh, I felt like I, I betrayed the child. I felt that I betrayed the child and uh, that uh, child's childhood because, uh, as I said, I love kids. And 
she was doing some funny things while sitting on the on the seat in the bus on the on a sitting spot and like I was like I wanted to laugh and I was laughing like but uh, uh, you that kid could not see my laugh that kid couldn't see my laughter because my face was covered like with uh, with uh, this uh, sort of a mask and when I when I really like uh, express like this this like uh, happiness toward like what uh, she was doing that kid was doing um, like she couldn't see that she couldn't see that and she was watching me she she can see only my eyes and while she was watching into on my eyes like uh, my eyes like she couldn't know what is going on and I felt like pain I felt really hurt I felt really huge pain inside of my chest because she could not experience she uh, it was cut off one part of the uh, happy part of the day was cut off from from her from that child just because I was wearing a mask and when I felt this pain like uh, literally and why I did this why I took off the mask yes I took off the mask and why because uh, I saw like uh, she was confused she it, it, was, it was a girl a small girl small child and uh, she was confused she didn't know how to react like she saw like something is happening like maybe my eyes are like uh, maybe she's saying that I'm kind of uh, happy or something but she could not see like a face expression like 80% of the face and most of the most of the um, communication it's not verbal it means like uh, body language so what you're doing with the body your attitudes like body attitudes so she couldn't see that and that hurt me so much that hurt me so much that I took off the mask and I really left and she saw it then and she was like kind of then feeling better because she was so confused she was confused because she didn't know how to react she didn't know what is going on she was confused think about it, what what this uh, does to the to the child's psyche what this, uh, what is happening in her head? What was happening in her head at that point? Like she was confused. She didn't know how to react. And I was suppressed. I was blocked because I was wearing this stupid piece of fabric on my face, and she couldn't see my smile, my honest like smile. Like she couldn't see it. And I was like, I, I felt like really, I felt like uh, I, I, I betrayed the child today. I betrayed the child. So I was wondering the other day, like, why do we wear the mask, like, at all, like, in general? Okay, like, they say that this virus attacks the respiratory system, and it's okay, like, I mean, I, I cannot say that uh, there, it's not true, that there's not something happening, but uh, especially, and especially with these new masks, like, uh, which I tried, and I put it on, like, at home, and literally, you cannot breathe in them, <laughs> you cannot breathe. Like, as you're inhaling, the mask goes, like, inside, you're making the dent in the mask, like, on both sides, and as you're exhaling, the mask is going, like, out as a balloon. And so, um, I was thinking, like, wondering just why, like, I mean, some people are even, like, uh, I see people running in a forest, running in a forest with a mask, like, on the, on the uh, running trail. And I was like, God. So, and wondering, like, why? Why is this happening? Why they do it? And like, it was hard to understand. But the point that I want to make here is, you need the elements if you want to be a healthy human being and to have a healthy respiratory system. Um, you need to to inhale the the fresh air, especially from the forest, especially next to the sea and next to the rivers. Uh, the healthy ones, the, the good ones. So, but the most to be in nature, to inhale this information, to inhale like this, uh, these elements that are in the air, in order to to have and be healthy, like human being, to have a health, to have a good health, to be wealthy and healthy. This you must. Uh, what I found out, like this is my, I did my research. You can do your own. What I found out is that uh, this mask is not at all for the viruses. It doesn't have any, like, it doesn't uh, protect you from the, any, like, uh, viral uh, things that are around you, the viruses. And actually that, that you need the, the permits 
actual permit and someone to educate you, like to, to show you how to use it, because it's meant for the workers only. I feel uh, often when I'm moving around, I feel like uh, I'm being watched, uh, like someone is watching how I behave. I have that feeling like uh, almost uh, always. And I feel like uh, they are like mother and father and I'm a kid and they're watching my behavior and the way I behave. Um, and so I get the impression that I'm wrong, like that you are wrong. Something is like that you're in a trouble, uh, the kid in trouble, you know. And so you're literally like uh, uh, trying to don't be wrong in some way without any reason. I mean, there is a reason because there are their influences, outside influences. And so literally like what people do often I see is that uh, they obey the rules. Uh, just do what I say, like the father to the kid, like, you know, just do what they say and you'll be fine. Something like that. I get a that feeling that that is what is going on. That's how I feel when I go outside and move around especially in the in the city center it's not all bad i don't want like you to get the impression like it's all bad but i i just want to inform some people like the youth inform you to to hear what I, what is actually going on and to to hear different perspe uh, perceptions and perspectives uh like i mean there are good things happening it's not just all bad but when I see like 16 years old kid is uh, pretending to be authority next to the supermarket at the entrance of the supermarket with uh, hands both on a table, like pretending I have the power, I'm in the power, you know, to control you literally when you're wearing this new mask in which you cannot breathe, uh, which is like kind of sad to me when I saw that, like, oh my God, like, and it, it's sad. I feel like it's sad. I mean, the, the point here is that like, as I said, when I'm moving around, uh, I got the impression like that they want uh, me to be scared of them and to obey the rules. I literally feel like that. That's, that's the point. That's what they want to say here. I literally feel like they want me to be scared of them. So that's not healthy environment. And it's not healthy attitude towards the citizens. But like, I feel like they're always there and just moving and just kind of pretending we are bigger than you, we are stronger than you. They are not. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. They are humans uh, as you are, as they all are. We are just one species, still, before the AI kicks in. Um, so, and they want you to, like, kind of to be scared. Like, don't buy that. Really, don't buy it. Uh, why? Because you are the power, you have the power, the same power as they're not having the power actually, that's the that's ego power, that's this ego egoistical power, that's not the real power, that's a fake power. The person who is having real power is behaving differently and it cannot be taken away. And that power like uh, destroys and conquers everything in a, in a very uh, weird uh, way, <laughs> so to say. What I want to say here is like, don't buy it, really, don't buy these things. They're just, uh, they're, they're fake, they're not real. And I feel like, uh, as I said, like they're everywhere, like controls, like everywhere, you know? And I feel like they're sort of uh, some uh, unstable liquid, you know? Like some unstable liquid that is like just, you know, like wants to, like I <laughs> like to move to, to explode or something. I get that feeling, like that's, that's how I see uh, the the state enforcement and the other people that are controlling other people. Remember, like we are all we are one species. So people are going now against people without even knowing why they're going against each other, and that's because they're ignorant. Most of the people are ignorant. They just don't know what is going on and why it's going on. And one tip here: the more you know the laws, the more you know the laws how they work, uh, the more power you have. When you know when you know the laws, they cannot do, they cannot play with you, and you have the power because then this uh, program of fear, like to be afraid of the authorities, is gone. And if you're working upon yourself like more and more, and if you're gaining your power, if your power is increasing, and uh, then then you really have no reason to be afraid. And this is the the fear. So this, it's about between the the fear and love. You know, there, there is no any other like influence here. This is 
fear what they do and this is love what people want and that's a freedom, joy, uh, happiness and just to, to be well.